Man, just stay player, bro. You mm. got to be a player, bro. You got to be smooth at all times. Stay mm. on your toes, man. You can't panic. You know, you just got to know everything is going to work out. Even when your shit bad, if you push in the basket with cans, you got to know it's going to work out. I'm going to sure. turn these cans into a million dollars, you know. This is special to me. Like, this is fig, you know. Man, it's crazy. I got the Figueroa hat on. You get what I'm saying? Like... Schoolboy Q, anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? Oxymoron is better than you. You are Schoolboy Q. Yeah, but do you smoke weed? You are Schoolboy Q. You're the one that smokes weed. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Girls everywhere. Man, let me tell you something, bro. 2014 was really an era the music was just so different to what we have today just off the top of my head songs like hookah baby pad me to hook <laughs> like on top of that the fashion that also plays a huge role in when i think back to 2014 shit loyal chris brown like main chick with kid ink and chris brown like there's just so many songs that i could think of from that era but bro this is the year that i got my first car rich homie kwan and young thug were hubbies like, like man life was good for real and speaking of fashion trends bruh that bucket hat man come on look at your boy 10 years ago <laughs> i was outside for real thanks to none other than that boy schoolboy q do not even lie to yourself he really had us rocking the bucket hat like crazy and i really wanted to make this video mainly because it's gonna make me sound so old and it's crazy it's really crazy bro how time flies but the classic album oxymoron released 10 years ago 10 years ago nah nah this shit don't even make sense it doesn't even make sense i was 19 when this shit dropped and one song i really wanted to highlight was the smash the banger man of the year man of the year bro when i first heard that track i was like oh nah run that shit the fuck back yeah, 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 yeah. Girls everywhere. the hook was just so catchy the flow was hard and that beat so simple but bangs the song achieved commercial success too peaking at number 23 on the billboard hot 100 its popularity really helped raise schoolboy q's profile within the mainstream honestly and the song's success contributed to positive reviews for the overall album it also showcased his versatility as an artist and really further solidified him within the big names of hip-hop. And not only that, the song's crossover appeal really helped introduce Schoolboy Q to a wider audience beyond hardcore hip-hop fans. Like, bro, no lie, this song was getting played all over the radio, on all stations, at every function, every house party. It didn't matter who was there, bro. Its inclusion in various media platforms like commercials, movies, TV shows, really expanded his reach to new demographics so yeah overall man of the year played a big role in schoolboy q's career bro and of course we all know the actual album oxymoron i mean what else can i really say it's probably the best album of 2014 if if we, if we really being honest and i cannot wait to see what blue lips is gonna sound like man his next studio album because so far the singles he's been putting out has been nothing but heat dead ass but yeah, man, I just wanted to make a quick video highlighting Man of the Year, Oxymoron, 10-year anniversary, bro. Do you remember when this song dropped? How was life for you back then, bro? Let's talk about it in the comments, and I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.